We'll do the Q&A section. I'll go over some more of those DCA uh, examples if you want to. And we'll uh, just do a little Q&A. So thanks so much, Stamba. I appreciate it. See you on the next one. Now let's get into Q&A. Which, let me get rid of that. Bring up some comments. <sighs> Dan, if you heard that the Rob Wolf guy won the Nobel Prize for YouTube, I don't think that's actually true. I'm not sure they have Nobel Prizes for that. Ah, oh, thanks, man. How cold is in El Paso? It's cold. Anything below 70 degrees is unacceptable for me. Can't wait to go back to Puerto Rico, which I'll be there in a couple weeks. Uh, it's like 64 or something. Ugh. I know some of you are like, 64, that's weak. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you hang out with me when it's 120 degrees and I'm working outside? <laughs> see? It's always a flip side of that. Uh, let's see. Wow. I made 23000 with the Central Line. I caught that at 0 0.03 cents. You know what I'm going to focus on more moving forward with the channel is when to sell. I did a poor job of, of, uh, of that. I mean, it was better than 2018, but 2021, I could have done a much better job of talking about some factors of when to sell and do those things. So that's it. Also, if you want to see my, my game plan, essentially, just go to danteachescrypto.com in the investing module. Uh, I show exactly what I'm going to do. Essentially, when the pie cycle top hits, hits, hits the top, I'm selling like 40 to 50% of my crypto. That's right. Oh, but Rob, you got a diamond hands. Okay. See how that's working out for everybody. Uh, that's good. How to buy, sell, and swap directly on Ledger. So you can do that. Uh, I'll do a tutorial at some point. It's very simple. You just have to, first of all, you have to update uh, Ledger Live. And then you have to connect your, your nano ledger. And then you click on, there's a, I think it's just says swap. And you can swap things and do that. And also they have an integration with FTX. So you can uh, buy crypto and it goes right into your ledger. I know people are like, oh, Rob, you selling out to FTX? Look, uh, if Voyager was still around, I'd probably still use Voyager. And if Celsius was around, well, I didn't buy stuff on Celsius. I just used it for the yield, which bit me in the A later on. But uh, that's what it is. But uh, that's it. So right now, I'm an American. I got limited options, pal. So I use Coinbase. I use Gemini sometimes. I use uh, Kraken. And I use FTX. Because guess what? Spreads are low. Anyhow. James says, Rob, have you claimed any tokens on drip drops? I have not. I don't think I have. Um, ooh. Reflare says, do you like Near Protocol? I love Near Protocol. I think it's great. It's what Ethereum is trying to do. It just doesn't have the legs right now. To, it doesn't have uh, everybody building on it. But, uh, I mean, look, it's implementing sharding already. It's uh, proof of stake. And it runs my favorite crypto of all time, Sweatcoin. And why is it my favorite? Because I bought a bunch of it. That's why. And I'm super biased when I talk about it. So everybody should know that. John says, no one knew that 2020 was the top everyone held. I sold. Like I'm, like I know there's some people that are like, this is it's going to keep going and it's going to have all these things. And I was like, well, maybe, but I gotta, I have to take profits. I didn't want to because I, I thought that we we're gonna have a longer time, but I took some profits and I rolled that into land, properties, my business, and uh, I'm okay now. I mean, if I didn't do that, uh, it'd be a little bit tougher right now. That's all I can say. Ooh, I dropped you a like on three my channels. Thank you, Fantasy. I appreciate that. Um, Mountain Man says, are you waiting to buy alts till Bitcoin dominance goes up, Rob? So we know, friend of the show, Ben in the Cryptoverse and James Invest Answers have different strategies. Ben is like, I'm barely buying Bitcoin. And James is like, I'm buying some other stuff. And I'm... Uh, in the middle. And I'm like, well, I'm still buying Bitcoin and I'm still micro DCAing altcoins because I don't know. Again, everybody thought that 2021 was not the top. Well, most people, some people did call it. I get, you know, sure. Gareth Soloway, I believe is his name. Good guy. Seems like a nice guy. And uh, that wasn't the truth, right? So like everybody right now is expecting more pain, including myself. But what if I'm wrong? I'm not that smart. I don't have a crystal ball. 
I don't know exactly what's going on, so I got to hedge my bet. So what I do is I say, well, maybe a little Bitcoin, Ethereum, near protocol, and some others, I should DCA. Not as much as I would like maybe when we're on the uptrend or just moving sideways into the uptrend. But why not? Because maybe everybody else is wrong, just like they were wrong in 2021. And that's the lesson for me, not for you. You can, you got to do what you got to do. Because sometimes people are like, I can't DCA because I can't afford rent or I'm in Europe and I can't afford gas. Sorry, French or France, Germany, Italy, all those places. Ah. <sighs> So that's that. Well, the answer the question. The forest, the forest of Spain welcoming you. Beautiful place. Now oh, Des just finished dinner. I always forget Des is another part of the world. Uh, meme says Sunday swap. Oh, I claim them the drip drops. But then a nickel, not by a gumball. What the heck is that? Uh, Des is not late to buy drinks. That's true. Thanks, everybody, for showing up for the uh, El Paso meetup. That was fun. Went to Classico Kitchen, my favorite place for the best salsa. Super spicy. We had a bunch of beers and food, and it was great. And uh, wrenches, do me a favor. If you see chat-69.xyz, best adult dating site, that is not uh, from me. So please ban them, as I just did myself. You guys are quick. Um, I think. I think that's it. Sticky says, this will be the last one. Sticky says, would love to see more content on when to sell. So Sticky, this is your, your good best day. Lucky day. Check this out. There's this website that I'm always talking about. And it's Dan Teaches Crypto. And guess what? It's free. And it'll always be free. You don't have to buy... You don't have to pay for anything. And anyhow, when you log in, let me log in. One, two, three, four, five, the password. Okay. You go to, just kidding. That's not my password. Course modules. Uh, you got basics, safety. Oh, and real quick on the basics. I added one video. You probably got an email about this. This is the very first video that everybody will see when they go into Dan Teaches Crypto. It was a great video. It almost got 50,000 views, I think. This is one I put on Saturday. The easiest way to understand Bitcoin. And it's uh, Peter van Valkenburg. And he just explains it very simply in like six minutes. It's a great, great video. I encourage everybody to watch that. But the, the one that you're talking about, my man, is under investing. And I talk about risk and why dollar cost average, the four-year cycles. And there's two. Uh, the bull run exit strategy, my new one. That I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna stick to come hell or high water, and uh, the last one here is when and why I'm selling 80% of all my crypto. I say specifically when it's gonna happen, and it comes down to Pi Cycle Top, NUPL, Time and Risk, MVRV Z Score, and Puel Multiple. And I take a look at all those factors, and I explain this is the time when I'm selling. But there are some nuances because we know that Bitcoin usually rises first and then altcoins, then altcoins rise, Bitcoin falls and people put into it. So it's very important. Watch the whole video. And that's it. That's all. That's all. That's all I got. That's it for today. So look, um, no announcements. There's no meetups. I'll be in Puerto Rico in two weeks. We'll do a meetup at the, the Smokehouse, my favorite place. And we'll go from there. But look, that's it for today, guys. So if you like today's video, do me a favor, hit the like button. Also consider subscribing. Everything we talk about is time sensitive, mostly for these things as far as news goes, but that's all. I'm gonna put out another video, maybe today or tomorrow, where I'm gonna talk to everybody about the Voyager FTX acquisition deal and what I think about it, and then uh, what's going on with uh, Celsius, and we're gonna combine them together because I gotta tell you, just between us, um, I just saw a memo that Mount Gox, we're hearing about this for five years, four years, five years, that they're, they just put up uh, their last documentation to put in for redistribution, which is going to be uh, in January 2023. So I just want to remind everybody that that hack 
happened in 2014 and people right now, because it went through liquidation, or no, excuse me, it went through chapter 11, didn't go to liquidation. Now is when people can get their money back. Do you want to wait that long? Just asking the question. And that's it. All right, buddy. Thanks so much for watching. I'll let you know when the next video is out. Appreciate it. Adios. Doo -doo -doo -doo.